and welcome to February 2018. So this is the reading for Virgo for February 2018. And Virgo, welcome. Um, I, I, I know I keep saying welcome, but I just, first of all, before I do this reading, I want to congratulate you on being here. I want to celebrate you for the incredible journey that you've been on because, you know, only in your quiet moments do you know how far you've come, where you've been, and what you now have to offer because of how you've honed yourself, honed and, and shine, sparkle, and uh, you know, uh, polished yourself rather, polished yourself like a diamond ready to shine, shine that truth, that integrity, that beautiful artistic creativity in the world on another level of upliftment and beauty and refinement of spirit. So I'm just going to say that and if that doesn't resonate for you, please bear with me. I'm going to try to approach this reading on many, many levels because I feel that that's what's necessary. Now, for you Virgo, you are focusing in February on your day-to-day -day reality and wanting to make it work. The time is now and that is your day-to-day -day reality in terms of what picks you up and what brings you down um, and that's in work in relationships in your eating habits your lifestyle you know how you look after your body if you've let things slip to do with your um you know what you wanted at the beginning of the year i mean you're usually fairly healthy but if you've let some things slip some promises that you made about how you're going to treat your body um, now is the time for you to get really clear about those changes and to get back on. Maybe they needed tweaking, maybe you needed to redefine uh, and refine some of those ideas, but this is the time for you to allow your own self-care and self-treatment in diet and fitness to support this change or any changes that you need to make in your day-to-day -day reality. So if you need a change of job, or if you need to trust yourself to go for your dream and to make that your work, or if you need to walk out of an unhealthy situation that drags you down every day to the point where you can't even breathe to create changes, to, cre to make creativity, to make your art, to make your dreams come true, or even to do your work, you know, anything like that, any of that heaviness, you are going to need your diet, your health, your fitness regimes to support you to have the strength and the light to push you through any changes that you are going to need to make. Now, if you're a Virgo just having a ho-hum, tum-ti-tum time, and that sounds super intense, I'm sorry, I have to speak to the Virgos who understand what I'm talking about here, because you need to hear something, you need to know that you know, you're know you coming through, you're coming through, and there is a very, very big, bright, beautiful light at the end of this tunnel, okay? Um, enough said. So, that's your focus. I'm gonna choose some cards for you for the first, second, third, and fourth week. And um, I'm going to do that with the Psychic Tarot by John Holland and then I'm going to use the Archangel Oracle by Doreen Virtue. I've just been told to stop there. So we're going to look a bit deeper now. First week, second week, third week, fourth week um, with the tarot messages and then we are going to do the same. What does Virgo most need to know about changing their reality? And remember, Virgos, you are all about reality. You are all about experiencing the reality at a very visceral, physical, very real level. <laughs> so when your reality needs to change, it really needs to change because you've experienced it at every level of reality. And possibility. So I know that makes sense to some of you. Just stick with it because I know there's something really lovely coming for you here. This is the pivot point. This is what I'm saying in a lot of readings. It feels like this is the pivot point. This is the turning point for the rest of the year. This is where you galvanize, <laughs> is the word that I'm hearing. You galvanize where you, you just like, you just finally say, right, that's it. That's it. Something's got to change. And it may, it feels as if you're kind of, you know, chiseling away at a mountain with a little chisel you know the tiny little teaspoon and um, you know you're just seeing a mountain there and I want you to see the 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 incremental um, 
scrapings that you're making, the little things that you're doing every day that are creating change, that are pushing you forward, that are getting you through to the other side of this tunnel, the little things. And you might need to ramp those things up and that is what this time is about. It's about making a bigger sweeping change that helps you to go to another level with that teaspoon. I hope that makes sense to you because I'm not, I don't want to take you and shake you and push you and make you know you've been through enough. It's not about that. It's about you realizing that you need to think innovatively. You need to think outside of what you've thought before and come up with some new ideas and possibilities that will make a change for you that is going to take you to another level of where you can continue and continue and continue and continue day to day, okay? You need to change your day to day reality somehow this month because that is then going to affect how you are for the rest of the year. And you need to, in the course of doing that, you have to let go of that lack of faith that you can do this. You have to start believing that you can do it. Any questions, any doubts you have about, will I be able to manage? Will I be able to cope? Can I actually get that dream job? Is it still for me? Have I left it too late? Have I missed the boat? You know, am I too old, too, too young, too short, too fat, too tall, too thick, whatever. It's all got to go. Anything to do with a lack of self-belief, a lack of faith has got to go. And you are also stripping away at karma. You are stripping away at a long, deep, dark karma that you took on so that you could, again, polish and polish and polish and polish yourself so that you could embody a higher expression of human experience and take that out into the world in the form of some fantastic expression, whether it's a creative work, whether it's writing, whatever it is, it's something that allows you to share what you've become because of where you've been and because of who you are and, and the gifts that you've been given and the time is now for you to take yourself away from the opposition that stops you to move yourself into a space where you can start to give that gift to the world okay and that has got to be supported by your day-to-day -day reality it might just be that you change you know whatever the job is that supports you being able to create that dream it might be that you get Get rid of the job and you focus completely on your dream that's up to you no one can tell you and it would be irresponsible to do that because we don't know what your circumstances are this is a general reading come to me if you want a more personal one but change needs to happen because your day-to-day -day reality needs some kind of assistance from you and some kind of change that you make this February or that you decide to make this February um, or you, that you galvanise into action this February is going to have very, very far-reaching positive consequences for you throughout the, the rest of the year and possibly for many years to come. So even if you're just at the thinking stage now, you will have an idea or a thought that's just the right one that clicks into the place that you haven't thought of before that makes you think, I can actually do this, you know. I can actually do this. I can. I thought I couldn't do it. I thought I thought this was going to be it now, but I can actually do this. So your first week of February, there could still be some heartache and loss. There could still be acknowledging, having to admit to yourself that some things haven't worked out, aren't going to work out, are just not meant to work out, or admitting to yourself the time that you've let go, the things that you've let go, the possibilities that you've let go. It could be any number of things. Overcoming difficulties, you know, the first week is going to be all about taking stock. But acknowledge that the worst is behind you. Archangel Jeremiah's card says the worst is now behind you. You're surrendering, you're surmounting any previous challenges. So yeah, you are surrendering the heartbreak. You're surrendering the heartache and loss. I don't see this as you something that you're hanging on to. There might be a little bit of regret when you realise some of the things that need to change. And again, I'm not telling you what those things are. It doesn't necessarily mean the end of a relationship even. It could just mean that... You have got to let go of certain ways of doing things, of seeing things and of being in a particular connection. You might need a break, you might need to step away for a while, you might need to reorganise your daily reality where that relationship affects it 
so that you can have the space and the clarity that you need to move yourself ahead into another daily reality that makes you fully happy and complete. Um, I know that will make sense to a lot of you. You need to pull yourself out of the energy that you've been stuck in for such a long time so that you can see clearly how to get yourself out of that energy. I <laughs> know that sounds ridiculous, but I know a lot of you will feel that. Okay, so the second week, the waiting game and creative writing. Okay, my writers are going to be very inspired. Virgo writers are going to be very inspired in that first week. When you start to acknowledge what you need to do, it's possible that you will write a lot of it out, that you might be journaling stuff and you might find that through journaling. You get some extra inspiration, some extra ideas, things that help you to move forward. Um you might find that you actually start writing a novel or a play or some songs that help you to express you know your journey or what you've been through or to understand it or that that brings hope to others in similar situations um, you might find that some way um, that your writing actually takes on another level maybe you maybe you are very clear about what you need to do next and you're still at the planning stage and while you're planning while you're thinking it through you get inspired to write things down and through that writing you kind of write yourself into the right frame of mind or into the right set of ideas or it could be that through your writing you reawaken the parts of yourself that get excited creatively that that understands that you have a bigger destiny that you have a bigger uh, set of goals in front of you that you might have neglected that you might have forgotten sometimes it's in doing what you love that you reawaken your mind to that and your mind starts trying to figure out ways to get you into a position to be able to do more of that Okay, so while you're waiting or while you're still figuring things out, it could be that in the first week you just acknowledge something's got to change. Okay, something's got to change. And the second week you sort of, you're still cogitating and thinking it through and allowing it to sort of move around in your mind. And, but you're acknowledging it, you're taking it on board. And then you start writing. And then in the writing, it starts reminding you who you really are or you start to get ideas and inspirations. And then in the third week, you really connect with your heart and for those of you who are looking for a career change it's in the third week that you start to put yourself out there whether that's in the form of um, sending for sending out applications sending out CVs whether it's to do with putting your work out there in the public view you know if you're a performer it might be the week when you start putting out a series of videos when you start putting out some recordings or sending out some demos or it could be when you start sending your a, a book to a publisher or when you start doing podcasts or broadcasting or you know you put yourself out there somehow to be seen and to to be visible and it comes totally from your heart and if you've had any kind of stress or strain around the heart area or difficulty with breathing or pressures to do with suppressing yourself this sense of suppression this career change is going to help you to release that because sometimes what hurts most as a creative being is to feel creatively suppressed to feel that you don't have a voice in the world to feel that you can't bring out all that love and all that creativity and share it the way that it's meant to be shared and let people hear your voice whether it's your singing or through your writing or through you just connecting and you know bringing your healing gift or whatever it is your dancing or your speaking or your playing an instrument whatever it is you need to step out there and let that little little light shine and then that will take all the pressure off your heart your heart will just blossom and that is the day-to-day -day reality that you need to express Virgo I am really deeply suspecting that that is the day-to-day -day reality change that most Virgos need to embrace the change where your day-to-day -day reality becomes a creative one or at the very least where your career is a career that allows you to blossom and express yourself at the highest level of joy and fertility and excitement. Okay, so, and then everything else kind of disappears into the background or takes its rightful place. And then, you know, if there's a relationship that can be healed in this light, 
it can be healed possibly if it's meant to be in this light you can see it in its proper perspective because you feel whole and happy and in this light you can decide better whether it's for you it might be that the contrast of that joy with that gloom shows you that uh, -uh I've had enough now that's it now I'm done it might be okay now I'm fulfilled now I'm blossoming now I feel great now I love everybody <laughs> now I can just you know be totally okay with myself and with everybody because I'm so happy and and creatively fulfilled and expressed okay but this is week three end of February coming into March, and I have to say coming into March because I feel with you, you need that hope going through the rest of the year. You need to know that whatever ha happens here is gonna continue because there's been a lot of starting and stopping and starting and stopping and feeling like you're being blocked. So at the end of the year, oh, wonderful. It looks like you start to get people noticing you, noticing what you're doing and wanting to offer you a helping hand or at least form alliances with you. you it's not that you're looking for a helping hand. You're totally, you're, you're a Virgo, <laughs> you know, you're a miracle worker. You're a capable, very, very capable, very highly productive, very hard working sign. But it's more a question of people who uh, can partner with you will possibly start to approach you now. Um, because you become more visible and so keep your manifestations going use the moon use the energies of the new moon look out for whatever that next new moon moon is going to be i haven't actually made a note of it at the moment but it feels as if it could be important and significant for you do the manifesting meditation and um, and keep moving forward into a very positive time this is your turning point virgo very very positive time um, obviously scrutinize partnerships and choose carefully and wisely but that looks like a whole other ball game a whole all other energy from the second half onwards from the third week onwards let's see what the next card would be life review fantastic it's time for a life review it's time to make those changes stop thinking about it stop talking about it stop phoning people up and saying how you wish how you should have done do it now okay have a fantastic february virgo so much love and good wishes for february and for the rest of the year and i will i'm sure speak to you soon take care bye